Oh, hi guys, it's CMAC here. Uh, very nice day out here. Uh, and today I want to talk about uh, Amazon certification program. And then why is it so important for you to start learning more about uh, AWS you know, certification and become certified? Because first of all, uh, certifications validate your knowledge uh, in a certain area, right? So companies look for you know someone to fill the job or you know give out a project. Uh, they'll basically you know consider uh, the certif certified people. And before we you know explain how to get certified in Amazon program uh, certification program, I want to talk about. Uh, what's happening as far as you know IT infrastructure and the future of you know computer science basically uh, imagine you want to work you know for a company you're working for a company uh, it's a startup and you want to build uh, a new platform let's say you want to build a new I don't know ad tech platform well the challenge with that is let's say you know you start writing the program now you need infrastructure you need a server uh, you know you need a place to host your service so one option would be you go out and you know order a new server, um, you know ship it out, install it, uh, you know install whatever web service you want to install, make it load balancer to make it highly available. Uh, you patch it. You have a network admin to take care of it. Uh, install antivirus. Give it internet connection. Put enough uh, UPS battery to make sure it's not going down. So there's a lot you need to do before actually going live and make your product available, and that means. You're missing out on you know, you know one 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 thing that it's obvious here, and that's market. Uh, well, the problem is the market is so competitive these days. Uh, if you waste time, uh, other people, other companies can you know get get ahead of the game and basically build something, and then you go to the market and it's too late. Uh, well, so how do we compete in this competitive market then? Uh, the answer is definitely cloud computing. Cloud computing provides all the necessary infrastructure for you and for your team, for your company, to go live, to go to market as soon as possible. Think about it. You have an idea, you can build your infrastructure overnight and go to market tomorrow. Uh, so this is something that, you know, it's already happening. I'm not saying this is going to be your future. This is already happening. Uh, companies need to innovate fast and fast. Companies need to go to global market as soon as possible because there's a lot of competition out there. And uh, if you don't move fast enough, uh, you're going to miss a bunch of opportunities, right? Well, so now it's obvious that why the future and cloud computing is so important uh, at this age. Uh, well, now let's get started and talk about, you know, how do we get certified and, you know, what's the path? Amazon basically provides, sorry guys, let me put my sunglasses, okay, this is better. Yeah, Amazon actually uh, provides five, uh, you know, core certifications that uh, you need to think about, right? The first three, uh, they're called associate uh, courses, which are uh, Solutions Architect Associate, Developer Associate, and SysOps Admin. Now, those three certifications basically will give you a good understanding of cloud computing and will, will basically get you the job, right? and you become familiar with all you know AWS concepts and you know when companies look at your resume they see okay you're certified and associate uh, the exams are not very tough so I recommend you guys go ahead and sign up for a course uh, from a cloud guru uh, they're available on Udemy they're available on their website by the way I'm not sponsored by them but they have actually they provide uh, you know really good material for AWS certifications so sign up there uh, and start studying, start with Solutions Architect Associate, right? Solutions Architect Associate. And uh, once you get that certification, it's probably two, 20, 30 hours, you know, worth of uh, material so you have to watch. And then you go set in the exam, you know, you can schedule it uh, and then, you know, get certified. Well, once you're certified, again, the demand is high, uh, you know, everything is changing, evolving, companies need to you know be competitive they need to innovate so fast they need to innovate and fail fast and so and the biggest uh, advantage of cloud computing is basically you know agility and elasticity right 
uh, imagine companies like Netflix, uh, Netflix, right, uh, Expedia, Airbnb, they all rely on uh, Amazon uh, Web Services uh, on their cloud platform. And uh, imagine when it's 7 p.m., people, you know, they want to watch their favorite show. Uh, as soon as they hit the power button on their, you know, cordless thing, and then the TV comes up, the service, you know, basically adjusts the uh, demand uh, with the capacity, with the, you know, uh, with whatever needs to be done. So, uh, well, so elasticity, that's basically what it means. It means you adjust with the market, you basically spin up more servers as needed, right? You don't have to invest in hardware anymore. You don't have to go out and buy a million dollar, you know, server room uh, in order uh, to operate, to serve a business and hope for customers. But if they don't come, so you've invested all this uh, in this hardware, nobody wants, you know, your product, and now you end up having a bunch of, you know, used hardware that nobody wants to buy from you. So instead of in investing in hardware, you can just invest in cloud computing, in your knowledge, and basically uh, have access to world-class network equipment, servers, all awesome, great things, uh, you know, and pay for only what you use, right? And you architect it. So in Solutions Architect uh, Associate, uh, you will learn, you know, a lot of basic things and basically major commands uh, and major services in AWS and you can uh, actually get started. Uh, what you need to do, you need to sign up for a free account with Amazon Web Services. Go to their website, sign up for your account. You put your credit card number, but there's a free tier that uh, you know you, they'll let you use you know basic services. And uh, you know make sure you don't go over that uh, budget. And the way you can prevent that is actually by uh, sorry, let me get my drink. Uh, the way you can do it is basically by setting up alarm, uh, you know to basically will send you a notification if you will, if you go over the uh, uh, free tier and um, the second step once you get certified in you know AWS certified solutions architect and you have it on your resume uh, you're on high demand now because uh, companies are looking for uh, you know people you know who has have certification in AWS because they have a you know, uh, big need for that. They, they need to fill all those roles because companies are moving uh, to cloud no matter what, right? And a lot of them, they need your help. So you'll, be become, you'll become really, you know, valuable asset for them if you, you know, get comfortable and be good at cloud computing, specifically AWS. Of course, I've used, um, I've done, you know, AWS certifications, but I've tested uh, also Google Cloud Compute. It's, it's a great platform. Uh, Microsoft Azure, same thing. Anyway, again, I'm not uh, sponsored by any of those guys, but I'm just telling you what's what's going on in the market and what you need to work on. But AWS, of course, is a leader, and once you start working with their platform, you will realize why they're a leader because uh, they basically they're really really ahead of the game. So, and companies are moving, you know, to cloud. So, uh, it's it's the best time to become familiar with cloud computing. So, the second exam you want to do is AWS Developer. It's more focused on concepts like DynamoDB and uh, you know things like that, write capacity, read capacity. Uh, so finish that. Pretty simple. Exams are you know not that tough. They're like multi you know you get multi uh, answers and then you know sometimes you know you'll find multiple answers are right. Sometimes it's just there's one answer. But uh, exams are good. It's it's easy to pass. And then if you're prepared with a Cloud Guru uh, learning platform. And then you go to the next step, which is SysOps Admin. This one is a little bit uh, tougher. Um, you know, it's a little bit more advanced uh, than Solutions Architect Associate and Developer. But again, uh, you can you know take the same course from a Kaguru team, and you can pass the you know exam. Now you've completed all the three Associate exams and certifications. Now you're in a good place as far as you know theories, uh, knowing all the concepts in Amazon. But Remember, hands-on experience is probably the most important part of you know this program. Uh, and if you don't practice things that you learn, it's basically it's going to help you you know uh, engage in conversations uh, in your company, uh, maybe come up with some you know plans and ideas. But definitely, you need hands-on experience if you want to build real-life you know systems. For example, I've been you know using uh, AWS for the last three years uh, on a daily basis. You know and uh, I wasn't certified when I started, but um, you know I decided to become certified because I thought there's a need. I need to know more about this platform because sometimes if you assume things, 
and we end up you know with a different uh, result and it's not pleasant uh, experience so get certified there's a lot of concepts that are new in uh, cloud computing if you're you know coming from you know uh, IT background and uh, so definitely make sure you get certified but hands-on experience again it's so important I've been developing and deploying you know infrastructure infrastructure on AWS for the last three years and I'm using leveraging different services I'll go through a lot of bunch of you know tutorials quick ones to get you started with specific service I don't know like S3 storage gateway EC2 load balancing uh, you know I am and you'll learn a lot if you you know definitely subscribe you'll get notified there's a bell you know once you subscribe you'll get notification when I release new videos so once you finish your associate level uh, give yourself enough time uh, before signing up for the advanced courses or for advanced certifications like AWS solutions architect professional and DevOps engineer professionals well those are really advanced uh, uh, certifications uh, Cloud Guru is definitely a good platform learning platform for associate courses but definitely for pro ones you need more training you need to read a lot of white papers on uh, AWS and of course architecture page go to Amazon Web Services slash architecture and Amazon Web Services com slash uh, white papers those are the two pages you need to know in depth right uh, in addition of course I want to say you have to sign up for a course from linuxacademy.com uh, Anthony James Adrian and Craig those guys are awesome they go really really deep in AWS certification program in the in the pro level so in the pro level a uh, cloud guru you know offers a, a course but it's not enough to pass the exam you need a lot of hands-on experience and you definitely need the uh, course from Linux Academy because they have very very in-depth and awesome great courses you can just sign up for a monthly or yearly and basically will increase your uh, the chance of passing the exam by probably 80 percent they're they're awesome their platform is really good well uh, I'm not sponsored again uh, not by cloud guru not by you know Amazon no Azure no GCP no Linux Academy I'm just here you know sharing my personal experience and I'm trying to help you get certified because there is a demand uh, you know you'll be you know really really in high demand because companies no matter what they're moving a lot of them to AWS and your skills are you know really needed well so uh, uh, but once you get those certifications pro certification and associate one now you have five uh, you know certification core certification that uh, basically proves your knowledge in that in that area if you want to proceed uh, they have some specialty you know training and certification and at the end machine learning I think right now at this moment Amazon has uh, 10 certifications including cloud pr pr practitioner all the specialty plus machine learning specialty and the core ones but uh, I want to say if you get certified in all the three associate right and you work for a year or two in Amazon uh, platform you're you know really well off to you know to basically build any project if you have again hands-on experience well don't waste time go ahead and sign up for a cloud guru get a free account from Amazon and start learning today uh, and once you finish the course uh, sit an exam uh, get certified and move on to the next one uh, well again uh, subscribe to my channel like this video please and I'm gonna share a lot more about AWS services my personal you know experience in AWS and I'm gonna help you you know pass all those exams uh, any comment below uh, and I'll see you next time bye